If it ain't clumping, it ain't pumping. This is the man's pre-workout right here. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and now we're about to dive into this video. So first up, what we did was sevens or some people call it 21s. So first, the first part of the movement out of the three, uh, you're gonna go from the bottom, from the very bottom up to midway. Um, and then after that, you're gonna go from midway up to the top, uh, seven reps each. Um, and then finally, you're gonna go all the way down and all the way up, so a full range of, mo range of motion. So what this is really gonna do, going from the bottom to the half, half to top, one, it's gonna show you where your weaknesses are, and second, it's gonna pre-exhaust the muscle for those last seven reps. So in this workout, obviously we did arm day, so we used biceps and triceps in a superset. And we'll get into um, a little bit of the, the method behind the madness, madness behind the, no, method behind the madness uh, a little bit later in the video. So our next superset, uh, the first exercise was a tricep rope extension uh, laying on a flat bench uh, just to hit it um, from the specific angle that we wanted to hit. Obviously you want to hit uh, your tricep, bicep, any muscle from as many angles as possible just to um, confuse the body, shock the muscle. Uh, you don't want it to. Um, you don't want your body to get used to your workouts and what you're doing. So you have to switch it up. Uh, what you see uh, Rich doing here is taking the rope and doing it from either side. Which what that is doing is isolating each tricep. The other one is still working, but it does uh, focus more on one tricep when you're doing that movement in that way. Uh, what this is good for, um, obviously isolation to see which uh, tricep is stronger, but also if you're having um, difficulties with imbalances within uh, your muscles, maybe one's bigger than the other, maybe one's stronger than the other, uh, what you wanna do is do your first you know, eight to 10 reps and then come to the side that's weaker and do another three, four, five reps, whatever it takes to start uh, balancing out that muscle again so you don't look lopsided, you look symmetrical, and that's especially important for those guys who want to step on stage and really get the perfect symmetrical um, body. So the second exercise in this superset is a cable curl in a kind of a preacher fashion. So what we're really doing here and some cues to follow um, in this exercise, we're really trying to shorten the bicep. So that's why you see us leaning forward. Our shoulders are coming in a little bit and our, our arm is coming up, which is all gonna shorten the bicep. And that's why we got such a great squeeze um, during this movement. And it's why it's in almost every single one of my workouts uh, involving biceps. Next up, we have the traditional rope extension. Now, uh, two things I wanna talk about here. First, you wanna keep your hands neutral from the top of the movement down to about midway. Once you get midway, you wanna start pulling that rope apart. And what that's gonna do is get a bigger concentration on your tricep, you're gonna get a better squeeze, which always leads to more muscle growth. The second thing is, when you guys are doing this movement, please, please, please use proper form. Because any improper form, if your shoulders are coming forward, if your elbows are coming up and down, it is gonna put all that pressure on the shoulder, either on the muscle or on the joint, and it's not gonna work your tricep. You're gonna have rolling shoulders, and it's just not gonna look great. So on these exercises, when you're doing, when you're upright, Keep your shoulders back, keep your scapula retracted, which means pull back, keep your shoulders back, and keep your elbows in the same position. So basically, right here, all that's working is your tricep. You don't want any shoulder use, uh, anything like that. Uh, that same, the same thing goes with um, any kind of bicep curl where you were you know, you're upright, you wanna keep your, your shoulders back and you wanna keep your elbow in the same position. Now that being said, sometimes when you're going 
when you're going heavier or when you're trying to get those cheat reps at the very end, it's okay to use a little momentum, a little swing, as long as you're doing it safely. Make sure you know what you're doing and when you use that momentum, make sure you're focused on the muscle the entire time. Make sure that um, you're tight, your shoulders are tight, your elbows are kind of are tucked in so you prevent injury. Next up, since we were going a little bit heavier this week, we decided instead of doing a regular dip for between uh, 18 and 25 reps, we decided to throw on the band around our waist, throw a 25 uh, pound plate um, at the very bottom and use that for some resistance. Uh, just because we were going heavier this week, sometimes we don't always load up plates. We could have went heavier, uh, we could have went lighter, did some hypertrophy, but since we wanted to go heavier this week and really uh, test ourselves in strength. Now finally, our burnout ending bicep killer is uh, surfing the rack, which is what we call it, but basically it's a huge, huge drop set. So you're starting off with a weight that you can do uh, between six and eight reps. I started off with around 35 or 40 pounds. Um, so I did you know, about six or seven reps. And then what you do, you immediately put down the weights. You don't take any rest, uh, maybe about five seconds just to pick up the next weight. So just go to the next set of dumbbells over and you start going again about six to eight reps. Uh, after that, you're gonna go down another five pounds and another five pounds all the way down to the uh, 10 five pound dumbbells. I promise you five and 10 pounds will never have hurt so much. So thank you guys so much for watching. I literally just, how, uh, just learned how to do this box thing here. So uh, if you guys liked it, let me know. If you hated it, uh, let me know anyways. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We're, we're all over social media now. And for YouTube, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much again, and we'll see you in the next video.